Now, art has the power of uniting communities that were once separated by crime and drugs. It also has the power to inspire people to live a more healthy life. And that was the aspiration of the Sozo Foundation's Township Youth Sculpture Project in Frejo. And now we've met with those people to actually find out more about this project. For a month, young creatives from this stressed community got together with volunteer artists from San Francisco and under guidance from the Sozo Foundation to build this beauty. The sculpture is, like, is a boat with the face and then houses on top. The idea of building a sculpture came originally from the Mexican artist Libre. And like, so I asked a few, a few people around here, the Sozo Foundation, that had been living in the community for a while. And they explained we like the history of Freyhrond. Oh, and I was like, it can be a idea. There's a face on the, on, on, the, on the boat. So there's two sets of eyes on the boat, which look like to the front, and then one, then two set, the one set on top, looking to the future. So which means we are looking at our presence, but we're also looking at our future, where we're gonna go from now. And the boat itself represents the fishermen that used to live here in the community. They used to build the community where the houses come in that they represent all the, the, the race, like that you can notice that they have different colors. So it also shows like the race, different races in the diversity in the community and how we like stand together. As you can notice that the houses are on top of each other and some of them are mounted to each other. So, so all of these three elements, it represent Ubuntu. And that's how we came up with the name, the ship of Ubuntu. Uh, for me, working on this project, uh, it was amazing. Man. Personally, as a graphic designer, doing something other than mastering, like technical work, it was fun. I taught myself something new and learning from other people. I'm learning about welding, learning about cutting of wood, learning about cutting of iron, even measuring up. It was, it was a fun experience, because now I can go out to the world and also say, I, I can do it. It feels so great. It was a hard work, but with the people uh, we were working with, togetherness, it was an easy work for us. Because uh, on your own, it takes like long to finish it. It can take you a, a year, but for us, it takes us like, it took us like uh, four weeks. So it feels great. The Sozo Foundation is a youth development project in the heart of Freyfund community. We run two youth uh, programs. One is an educational after-school game changer program and one is a skills program where we upskill young people in different skills. It was my first time doing, being involved in a project like so big because I'm not used to working with, honestly I'm not used to working with other people. Basically I got to learn the students some training on a personal level because at the Social Foundation we are here to empower students but only to teach them the skill. After that, the year after that, we get new students. So for me, basically, it was being vulnerable, being open-minded. The key of everything was our, basically our communication. For me, it was quite a proud moment because I believe in, in the young people. I believe in empowering young people. And at the Sozo Foundation, that's really the heart of what we, of what we do, is empowering youth and to see them become leaders in their community, to see them thrive, to give them hope, dignity, purpose and meaning. And for me to see young people coming together like this um, within our skills school was, was heartwarming. Yes, I do see us making more sculptures, more murals, like having more like creativity going on in our community and other communities as well. Standing three meters high and made of recycled materials, the ship of Ubuntu will inspire careers and ideas for years to come.